here's our next system of linear equations. x plus y equals 0, and x equals 3y plus 8. Now this top equation, it might seem odd that we have it equaling 0, but the best way to handle equations that equal 0 is really just to treat 0 like it's any other number. Do exactly the same steps you would do if this 0 was, say, a 10 or a 2 or any other number. So we're not doing anything special because this equation equals 0. Maybe you're spotting, well, if we have two numbers that equal 0, they have to be opposites. I know that it's going to be like a 3 and a negative 3 or a 4 and a negative 4. We don't know exactly which pair, but the numbers will be opposites. Maybe that's something you could spot from this equation, two numbers added together equals 0. But that's just a little icing on the cake. We don't. It's not an important part for our substitution method. Let's just get back to our main step. So let's, let's get into it. We're looking for an equation solved for x or y, and it, in this problem it's an equation solved for x. So we had a couple solved for y, now we're doing it with an equation solved for x. Down here, x equals 3y plus 8. So we're thinking, can we put a 3y plus 8 in place of x in this other equation? That's exactly what we're going to do. So let's clear some space. We'll put the 3y plus 8 right in place of that x. We're combining these two equations. So starting with the rewrite, in this case, our substituting is the first term. It's actually the first part of this equation. So 3y plus 8, it's a habit, so I still have it in parentheses. How does the rest of the equation go? It goes plus y equals 0. So it's looking a little bit different because at this point we had been dealing with equations that had only x, but now it's an equation that has only y. But no big deal. All we really care about is that the equation has only one kind of variable in it. The fact that this time it's a y really doesn't matter. We'll be careful about specific details as we move along, but it's not changing our process. We're going right ahead and solving this equation losing the parentheses because they're the first term in this equation. And now we're looking for like terms. We have a 3y and a 1y to make 4y. I'll recopy plus 8 equals 0. Again, don't do anything hasty because this one equals 0. Just proceed as usual. Solve for y. So I'm taking away 8 both sides, leaving us with 4y equals negative 8. And now divide both sides by 4, we get y equals negative 2. So the first part of our solution this time was the y value, but both are still needed. So now how do we find the x value? It's really the same process. Let's go back to where we started, this equation that was solved for x, because now we have a value that we can substitute in place of y. x equals... 3 times y is now 3 times negative 2. Don't forget the plus 8. So we've substituted negative 2 in place of y. We'll do the order of operations. The multiply gives negative 6. And then adding 8, we get x equals 2. So we've got the x, we've got the y. Let's write the ordered pair. Just always cautious that we're putting the x value first and the y value second. And there's our ordered pair solution. Not too bad. So I've got an example coming up here for you to try. Definitely pause the video and take a few minutes to go through this example.